the school is the backbone of your community. It's the most important building in your entire in your entire town. That's why Josh Aiken says it's so important for people to be involved with the local boards of education. His organization, Arise NJ, encourages parents to run for school boards. While Aiken says his group is not focused on electing conservatives, the organization was founded by GOP gubernatorial candidate Phil Rizzo, and Aikens has said in previous interviews that the goal of the group is to get more conservatives with more traditional values on school boards. Um, a few years ago, 62% of all school board positions went uncontested or unfilled. And that's actually how I got on. I saw that no one was running for the school board, and I... I just had people write me in. I just was appalled that no one was going for the school board. During the pandemic, as school board meetings went remote, more parents got involved as issues such as masking and vaccines became flashpoints among parents. Last Monday was the deadline to file a nominating petition to run for the school board election coming up in November. And while candidates are not identified by party affiliation, there's a move by some to elect more people with conservative views. It all starts coming out of the 50s and into the 60s, where we lost academia, we as conservatives or as Americans lost academia to the globalist, socialist, if you will, to a leftist movement. Freedom Mayor and former congressional candidate John Floor supports having more conservatives sit on local school boards. He says discussing social issues like critical race theory, sex education, and the LGBTQ community have no place in the classroom. Uh, I, I personally find that to be a breach of family values and huge overreach by the institution of education. We forced religion, any, any understanding of a deity or family values have just been pushed out of education at all levels and replaced by the institution. And, and I find that to be very, very threatening to our way of life. As I said before, our role is to make sure that all the information is out there, differing viewpoints, by the way, you know, uh, things that, that some agree, some disagree, and that'll flip on any given thing. All of that should be presented to kids in an age appropriate way. Sean Spiller is the president of the New Jersey Education Association and a member of the NJPBS Community Advisory Board. He believes school boards should reflect all kinds of views, but the idea that any thinking is labeled as conservative is frustrating. For us, it's about People who care about public schools should get involved at the school board level. People who want to see kids succeed. So we, um, while we certainly don't want to see uh, school board politics devolve into st strict partisan politics, there's room for all kinds of views on boards of education. The national organization Moms for Liberty also against discussing social issues at school. We reached out to three members of the Morris County Group and they issued statements saying, quote, parents continue to be concerned about the NJEA agenda, which touches on very sensitive topics. It's not that they're not um, for the LGBTQ community or, the, um, or CRT or anything like that. They just don't want some of that being taught in school. They want to address those issues at home. Right now, county clerks are in the process of compiling names from the nomination petitions in preparation for November's election. And we'll see if Flora and Aiken's recruitment efforts of candidates with more, quote, traditional values pays off. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.